welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is Pythagorean Theorem word problems, and we have six examples for you. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number one is a basic Pythagorean Theorem problem. It says a right triangle has a hypotenuse of 40 meters. One of the legs measures 24 meters. What is the length of the other leg of the triangle? So the Pythagorean theorem is used for right triangles, and it says that the length of one of the legs squared, often called A, plus the length of the other leg squared, often called B, is equal to the length of the hypotenuse squared, often called C. And remember, the hypotenuse is the side that's opposite the right angle. Oftentimes you'll see the Pythagorean theorem written as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so in this problem, we know that the hypotenuse is 40 meters, and we know that one of the legs is 24. And it doesn't matter whether we call 24 on the a leg or 24 on the b leg. We're just trying to find the other leg of the triangle. And so we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we can substitute. We're looking for the length a, so a squared will leave. We're going to substitute 24 for b and square that, and we're going to substitute 40 for c and square that. And so on the left side of my equation, I would have a squared plus 24 times 24 is 576. And on the right side, 40 squared, which is 40 times 40, is 1,600. And now all I have to do is solve the equation. So I'm going to subtract 576 from both sides in order to get a squared by itself. 576 minus 576 is 0, or as some people say, it cancels out. And 0 plus a squared is a squared. 1600 minus 576 is 1024. And now we just have to take the square root on both sides to undo the square. So the square root of a squared would be a, and the square root of 1024 is 32. And so the length of the other leg or the other side of the right triangle is 32 meters. Problem number two is the baseball field. It says a typical college baseball field has 90 feet between each base. If the catcher has to throw from home plate to second base due to a player stealing second, about how far is the distance thrown by the catcher? So we can draw a diagram to represent this situation. We have the distance from home plate to first base, and then we have the distance from first base to second base, and both of those are 90 feet. And then we have the distance between home plate and second, which is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, and that's the distance that we're looking for. So leg squared, or a squared, plus the other leg squared, b squared, will be equal to the hypotenuse squared, or c squared. And now we'll just substitute. The length of the first leg is 90 squared, plus the length of the second leg is 90 squared, and that equals the length of the hypotenuse, or the distance between home plate and second base, which is c squared. So on the left side, I have 90 squared, which is 90 times 90. That would be 8,100 plus, again, it's the same 90 squared, so that's 8,100, and that equals c squared. On the left side, I can add 8,100 plus 8,100 and get 16,200, and that's equal to c squared. To solve for c, or the length of the hypotenuse, I'm going to take a square root to undo the squaring on both sides. And so the square root of c squared will be c, and the square root of 16,200 is approximately 127.3 feet. So the distance the catcher would have to throw to second base would be about 127.3 feet. Problem number three is a ramp problem. It says a ramp at the dog treat factory is 4.5 feet high vertically, and 30 feet long horizontally. What is the distance up the ramp? So we'll draw a diagram to help us visualize. We have 30 foot long horizontally and four and a half feet up vertically. And then we want to know what's the distance up the ramp. 
So here's my right angle, and we're looking for the length of the hypotenuse, C. So the Pythagorean theorem says leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. And so we'll substitute 4 and a half or 4.5 squared plus 30 squared is equal to the length of the hypotenuse squared or the distance up the ramp. 4.5 times 4.5 is 20.25 and 30 times 30 is 900 and that will be equal to c squared. I can add the two numbers together and get 920.25, and that will be also be equal to c squared. So to solve for c, which is the hypotenuse or the distance up the ramp, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So the square root of c squared, they undo one another. Their reverse operations will leave me with c. And the square root of 920.25 is approximately 30.33 feet. And so the distance up the ramp would be about 30.33 feet. Problem number four is a directional problem. It says while at the dog park, Cyprus ran 48 feet east, then turned and ran 20 feet north to reach the water station. If she would have run straight there from where she started, how far would she have run? So let's draw a diagram. Cypress started here and she ran 48 feet to the east and then turned and ran 20 feet to the north. If she would have just run straight from where she started to the water station, how far would she have run? That's going to be the hypotenuse or what we call C. And so the Pythagorean theorem says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And now we'll substitute. For A, we'll substitute 48 squared, and for B, we'll substitute 20 squared. And again, it doesn't matter whether you call the 48B or the 48A or the 20B or the 20A, as long as you have those two as the legs, and that's equal to C squared. 48 squared is 48 times 48, which is 2,304, plus 20 times 20 is 400, and that's equal to c squared. I can add these two numbers together. 2304 plus 400 is 2704, and that's equal to c squared. So to solve for c, or the straight run distance from where Cyprus started to the water station, I'm going to take the square root on both sides to undo the square on c. So the square root of c squared would be c, and the square root of 2,704 is 52. And so if Cypress had run straight to the water station, she would have run 52 feet. Problem number five asks you to prove a 90 degree angle. It says a rectangular addition to a backyard patio has been framed out to pour concrete. The dimensions of the addition are 24 feet by seven feet. The two diagonals have been measured to be 25 feet. Prove that this frame is square meaning the four corners of the rectangle are 90 degree angles. And so we're going to draw a diagram. We have a rectangular addition to the patio, and we know that the length is 24 and the width is 7. And we've measured out the two diagonals in the addition to be 25. And so what we have to do is prove that this is actually a right triangle. And we can do that by using the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if we take 24 and square it and add that to 7 squared, that should equal 25 squared. And if that's true, that will prove that we have a right angle in each of the four corners and our frame will be considered square. So 24 squared means 24 times 24, which is 576. And 7 squared, 7 times 7 is 49. Equals 25 squared is 25 times 25, which is 625. So all I have to do is add together 576 and 49, and hopefully I get 625, which I do. 576 plus 49 is 625 and that's what I need it to be equal to. So since they are equal, the frame is going to be considered square, 
meaning the four corners have 90 degree angles. Problem number six is a ladder problem. It says Cypress is painting the outside of her doghouse. She leans an eight foot ladder against the house with the bottom legs two feet away from the house. About how high vertically up the doghouse will Cypress be able to paint? So let's draw a diagram. Here's the side edge of Cypress's doghouse and she leans a ladder up against the doghouse to the ground, which will form a right angle. We know the distance away from the doghouse is two, and we know that the ladder is eight feet, and we want to know how high is this vertically. So we want to know one of the legs, and we'll call that leg B. So I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So for A, we'll substitute in 2 squared, plus B is actually what we're looking for, and C, which is the hypotenuse, or the latter, will be 8 squared. So 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. So 4 plus B squared, 8 times 8, 8 squared is 64. Now we're going to subtract 4 from both sides to get B squared by itself. 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 plus B squared is B squared and 64 minus 4 is 60. And so our last step is just to take the square root on both sides to undo the square on b. The square root of b squared is b, and the square root of 60, if you punch that into a calculator, is about 7.75 feet. So Cypress will be able to paint vertically up the doghouse about 7.75 feet. So that's it. Six examples of different types of Pythagorean theorem word problems. Keep working hard. Don't ever give up. We know you can do it if you put in the time and effort. If you have any questions, shoot us a comment, and we'll be happy to do our best to help. And remember, as we say at Math Dogs, you got this.